to reverse that. We're going to put particles inside the bloodstream that look like Valium. So examples of competitive and non-competitive inhibitors are romantoprine and Narcan. That's what we give to people to try to reverse the signs and symptoms of their overdose. Does all that make sense? Okay. And if, and if you get to a hospital and you've never heard of Narcan, they're not going to stop and teach you. They expect that after you've had all your nursing classes and your pharmacology that you know all of it. Okay. The police officers at LAPD are happy because they're carrying a Narcan, meaning it's a spray. They're happy. Some of my friends are like, wow, I'm really excited. Look, I carry Narcan in a spray. And I don't say a word. I look at them and I go, you don't know anything, do you? And they go, oh, good, I get to spray this in their nose and they're going to wake right up. And I go, you have no idea. You know, you better have two canisters ready. The first one is Narcan. The second one better be pepper spray. <laughs> right? Because let me tell you something. Heroin addicts are much less trouble when they're unresponsive. When you wake them up and tell them to wake up and come on, go home, they don't have a home a lot of times. So you're just